Homelessness and housing took center stage at San Diego City Hall today. Council members voted in favor of coming up with a resolution to declare housing a human right, just like food and water. CBS 8's Kelly Hassanal joins us now live with more on what we learned today. Good afternoon, Kelly. That's right. Well, uh, Council President Sean Elo Rivera is really spearheading this effort. He says declaring housing as a human right is really needed so that the council uh, can really prioritize what they're doing as they move forward and really just make a commitment to say we're going to try to make sure all San Diegans have a home. However, the city attorney uh, made a point to say that passing a resolution like this could potentially open up the city to lawsuits. A resolution is a legal document that can create enforceable rights. If we make promises we cannot keep, we will likely be sued. Aspirational language is often used in a resolution like this where the council's making progress on issues, but work lies ahead. Now, having said that, City Attorney Mara Elliott said she's comfortable moving forward. Uh, they just have to be careful with the language in the final draft. So the vote today, which was unanimous, was in favor of having the City Attorney's Office draft a resolution declaring housing a human right. A couple of drafts by Council President Shawnee Rivera's office have already been put together. Once a final draft is finished, everyone will come back and there will be a vote on whether to pass it. Now, the Council President made the point today, uh, what would San Diego be like had we declared housing a a human right 20 or 30 years ago. According to the San Diego Regional Task Force on Homelessness, in the past year, more than 15,000 people have become homeless for the first time. Now, we heard a lot of public comment, uh, both in person and over the phone. A lot of people who work with the homeless population spoke out in favor of this declaration, but there were a few people who were against this. Here's some of what was said today. While we acknowledge that there is much to be done beyond this resolution, supporting this action today is a critical step. The council can take to commit to making San Diego a place where all community members can live and thrive. Housing is not a protected right within the Constitution. However, people who own property are protected from people using it without permission. This is the difference between a free country and a socialist country. It's the difference between a hand up and a handout. So it's unclear when the city attorney's office will have that final draft ready for the council to vote on it, but we're told it should happen uh, very soon. Uh, Heather and Steve. Okay, Kelly, if the final draft of the re resolution does in fact pass and housing is then declared a human right in the city, does that have any sort of impact on law enforcement? For instance, will they still be able to ticket people for blocking sidewalks or setting up a tent on a sidewalk? Uh, you know, that was brought up today by a couple of the uh, speakers uh, who spoke out the public during the public comment portion. They said, how can you uh, declare that housing is a human right and then con continue to ticket people who are living on the sidewalk? But, you know, that's something that the city attorney is going to have to figure out. That's something the mayor's office is going to have to work out. I did reach out to the mayor's office to find out if they're on board with this resolution. And a spokesperson told me uh, that the mayor supports some of what was talked about today, but they're really waiting to see what is in that final draft. Uh, the devil is always in the details. Kelly, thank you.